Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I recently bought a new mountain bike and for a while there it took me a lot of forethought and a lot of thinking about what type of bike to get. I was not sure if I wanted a cross country bike or a trail bike or more of an enduro bike. And uh, we got some special guests with us here. We got Jordan Brown, who's a marketing specialist from Oakley. We've been riding all morning product testing. Jordan has an enduro bike. And we got Stefan Rock here, who's a pro mountain bike racer. He's been a pro for three years. He's been racing mountain bikes for 15 years. He's uh, been in the bike industry for eight years plus and uh, he's definitely an expert on the topic. And he's gonna break down a little bit for us what are the differences between a cross-country bike, a trail bike, an enduro bike, and the pros and cons, and maybe help you decide what you might need. So take it over, bro. Yeah, so absolutely. So I guess we're just gonna go in order here. This is, uh, this is kind of what you would typically see for a cross-country race bike. Um, these are usually lower travel bikes, right? Oftentimes they're gonna be a hardtail, meaning you have no suspension in the back, right? If you do have suspension in the back, it's just gonna be very minimal, probably 80 millimeters, maybe up to 100 millimeters of travel. My front shock up in the front is gonna give me uh, also 100 millimeters of travel, okay? One other thing that you're typically gonna see on a cross country bike is you're gonna see bigger wheels, okay? So most of the time you're gonna be running a 29 inch wheel. The reason for that, that bigger wheel is gonna hold momentum it's also gonna roll over obstacles. So when you have a lower travel bike, having this big wheel will help you get over stuff, roots, rocks, um, you know, kind of some of the terrain that we're seeing out here in Whiting Ranch. So um, geometry is obviously a little bit further off the front on a cross country bike, uh, just to kind of help you get that pedaling efficiency. So that's what we're about here with this bike. Um, Rob being kind of new to mountain biking, you know, he wasn't really too sure which direction to go. So um, the nice thing with technology that's available today is you can really get a bike that does everything extremely well and this is what we have here we have a trail bike um, this bike here you know Rob this is a 29er yes 27.5 uh, baby 27.5 right so you know Rob from that it, with a trail bike you can kind of go either way on the wheel sizes 29er or 27.5 he probably went with the 27.5 wanting it to be a little bit more playful a little bit more maneuverable um, the other thing obviously full suspension more travel right we're talking 120 millimeters of travel front and rear compared to the 100 mil of travel i have on my bike just on the front so a little bit more relaxed as far as the position the last cool feature you'll start to see on these kind of bikes is a dropper seat post right so we could see right here boom we can just extend that up um, that way he gets that pedaling efficiency it's going to be great for climbing and then when he hits it downhill you know he just pushes this button sits on it drops that seat and i would say if you're looking for a new bike this is there's no other way it's, it's, it's unbelievable versus my 15 year old aluminum hardtail that i bought in college i i think the thing that made the just the biggest instant smile was the dropper seat post it's unbelievable i i agree i agree and for somebody you know like rob that's used to doing a lot of road ri riding he's got a lot of fitness um, this bike is really just your, your do-everything machine. So, amazing bike right here. And right over here, this is uh, Jordan. So he just got this new Santa Cruz Bronson. Um, he probably likes to do a little bit more aggressive riding, as we would say. He's gonna have somewhat similar features to what you see on the trail bike, but again, the angles are a little slacker, you know, especially the head tube. So when you start pointing it down more technical, steeper trails, just gonna handle that a lot better. Um, he still has features like the dropper post. You know, he's still gonna have to pedal it up the hill sometimes, but he's not really focused on that. So, um, and then obviously a 27.5 wheel, you'll notice how fat his tires are on this wheel, right? Um, he's probably gonna be catching a little bit more air, jumping off roots, gapping rock gardens, that sort of deal. Um, you'll also notice he's running flat pedals. You know, typically that's something you will see on an on a enduro bike or all mountain style bike. Yeah, so that keeps it easy to get the limbs off of the bike. There you go. Yeah, in case you need a bail, right? Or throw a no-footer can-can, something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, right? Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Hey everyone, I hope that helped a little bit if you're out there trying to decide what kind of bike to get. Uh, Cross-country bike, trail bike, enduro bike. We're all different type of riders, but we all ride and we're all friends and we're all wearing amazing cool Oakleys and you can always get them at sportrx.com. <laughs> and if you're not fueling your bottle with APX sports drink, something's wrong with you. you should Absolutely. You should Google APX, it's for real. Best hydration, baby. Thanks for watching that video. Subscribe to our channel over here. Check out our latest video right somewhere around there. Uh, please, please like this video.
or don't like it if you don't like it, but put something down there, but you should like this video. And then check out our website. Our awesome website is right over here, sportrx.com, baby. And don't forget, on your face or in the case, that way you don't have to replace.